Next question is from Christy Bliss Garcia. Sal often says evolutionarily speaking. So I'm curious if you think it's possible that humans could evolve to safely consume McDonald's type food daily and require less exercise. I've a- you know, it's funny. I've actually really thought about that like long and hard and considered the possibilities of like what we're going. Cause you got to remember that, you know, we're, this is a small time right now, right? This, this 50 to a hundred years of processed foods and what we're dealing with, with all the, you know, it will humans a hundred years from now be able to handle all this terrible food and we'll have, evo- we'll have enough generations. We'll just look like fat amoebas. Yeah. <laughs> like that's how we'll evolve to it. Yeah. I don't think biologically we will. And, and here's why. So if you, if you, uh, now uh, this is very basic surface level, you know, uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of, of learning about this uh, explanation. So I'm not a scientist, but when it comes to evolution, biologically speaking, um, a lot of the evolution happens over long periods of time through uh, stresses and pressures, environmental um, or otherwise. And it, it takes a long time. So humans evolved to throw with accuracy, for example. That didn't happen in 100 years. It took a long time first of all, uh, that ability. And the pressures were on us constantly um, that entire time. Now we're in a point now where, and, it, and there is a little bit of evolution that happens or, or adaptation that happens um, not uh, through, uh, what's it called, uh, when your genes can, um, damn, I, I forgot the term. When you're, like, you're, if your mom experiences something, then you have genes. Epigenetics. There you go. Epigenetics will, will maybe even cause some changes as well. But the main evolutionary changes that happen come from these pressures um, and you know, the weak people die, the stronger ones live. They have the, the capacity to deal with the stress. They pass on their genes over time. This becomes a big thing. We're living in a time now where our environment evolves and changes way faster than our biology does. So in the future, I highly doubt humans are going to biologically evolve to handle McDonald's, but I think our technology will evolve mm-hmm. to where right. we, where we'll be able to eat McDonald's right. and not have nanobots issues. or be able to take a pill that cancels out all the negative effects that it supposedly right. has. Right, right, and also right. The, the 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 pressures and stresses on us are they're not killing us uh, until after we're uh, past the age of of being able to procreate. So the reason, so many things get uh, they don't get evolved out of us because they don't hit us till later. You know what I'm saying, like. If they if they kill us before we have children, then they kill us before we can pass on our genes, and then yeah. our genes don't get passed on or whatever. But those of us who are dying from eating terrible food and stuff like that, it's usually not happening until we're in our 50s, 60s, 70s. It would have to so, be the only available edible source of food left. And then, like, whoever couldn't eat it died or, you it, know. Right away. Yeah. Or then, you know, the rest of everybody that could handle it, there'd be, you know, a variety of people that like benefited from it or, you know, had that's like point. detrimental. That, that's the only way that, it. that's the only way that's the only way you do it because there's too many options. Yeah, there is. And, and again, our environment changes so fast, not naturally, uh, but we uh, influence it and modify it through technology. So the, the most of the evolution we're going to see from here on out is going to be through technolo- through technology. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be biological uh, evolution. And if we do evolve biologically, it's because we went in and did it ourselves. So whether we use, you know, like CRISPR technology or, you know, we're able to modify our babies or whatever, that will be how the biology changes, but not through natural means. It's just shit changes too fast. I mean, you look at like the, the lifestyles we live now, Two or three generations ago, it's already radically different. You know, that's yeah. not enough time to have these. I, yeah, I look at it more as like cyborgs. You know, like, probably like, like way, ways like people will adapt to like embedding like software and and chips and things in their body and working with you know technology. I'm sure that's that's going to be the thing. I'm I'm tripping out on as to what that looks like in the future. Yeah, I would bet if we were to go like you know a thousand years or five thousand years in the future. My money would be that um, humans would be uh, le- less biology, more technology, far more. For sure. I, I you know, That's a good I, point. It'd be either, you know, hyper-intelligent robots or, you know, consciousness transfer or something, but it definitely wouldn't be biology. I mean- I plan to have my second kid glow. So, <laughs> like the, do you remember those glow- uh, 
Remember that when we were kids, glow worms? Do you remember those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to bed with them at night because you're scared. Yeah, and it fucking lights up and shit. Totally. Give, give your kid an EMF toy yeah. to go to sleep with. <laughs> <Good> stuff. <laughs>